I'll go back in time. I'm almost certain each and every one of us in this room can pinpoint one of our first achievements. Be it going to your first recital, your first soccer practice, your first performance. But for me, the most important first achievement would be my ability to count to 10. The first piece of advice my mother ever gave me was whenever you're overwhelmed with emotion, take a step back, count to 10, and then react. But there's a catch. We need to inhale at zero and exhale at 10. This all started out as something I would do when I was much, much younger. I was this little girl with a head of golden curls, so excited and so hyper that honestly, I just rush everything. Which most, most probably explains why I'd end up bumping my head all the time. But then, I took my mom's advice. I finally listened to her. I took a step back, counted to 10, and then I went along to play whatever game my siblings and I would be playing at the time. You see, as time moves on, we develop. Be it on a spiritual scale, an academic scale, a social scale. So exactly how that first math lesson would be counting to 10, and the next would be counting to 100, these numbers develop reaching an infinite end. By contrast, sometimes I realize it took more than 10 seconds. It took more than 10 seconds to accustom myself to the situation. It took more than 10 seconds to react adequately. And honestly, it took more than 10 seconds to just face reality. Take it as your first fallout with a best friend. As a young child, it's so extremely difficult to be able to accept the fact that you're in a fight with someone who's so near and dear to your heart. But before acting impulsively, I taught myself to take the time. I taught myself to take these 10 seconds to evaluate the right from the wrong. I taught myself to take these 10 seconds to really find a solution rather than dramatize it face my situation instead of escaping it. I'm sure at the beginning, it was very, very hard to do. But thankfully, I had my mom's 10 second rule to fall back on. But then, my whole life took a turn. When I came to the facts that I have anxiety. Now, it's so familiar amongst us all here to be anxious before a test, before a date, before a meeting, before a quiz. But for me, that was completely different. It was hard to breathe. It was hard to inhale at zero and exhale at 10. It was hard to do the things that seemed so simple. It was hard to go about my day. But I pushed through. How? I took those 10 seconds. I took the step back. I came to one with my emotions. I didn't run away from them. I got out of my head and faced the situation. I reflected on what was going on. And then I reacted, and then I found a solution. The thing about us all is when we're so riled up with emotion and we're so passionate, the stakes become much, much higher. Losing that feeling by itself would cost us all way too much. That's why we need to reflect. We need to take the time. We need to take that step back because it's almost always better to pay a price with reason rather than with emotion. Now, patience is a difficulty we all have, especially living in a modern world that we live in today. In a world where everything moves so fast and so quick, it's so hard. And don't get me wrong, I'm well aware that it's extremely difficult to always accept, expect and anticipate the bad things that are yet to come. But we can't escape the fall, because that's part of growth. But at the same time, that's not the point of going through a hardship, because it's not about how hard you fall, it's about how much stronger you are when you rise. Because after going through these hardships, you collect so much knowledge and so much experience that will surely just glorify your beauty and not demolish it. Because your sad times don't define who you are, it's how you come out of it. And in order to come out of it, 
We all need to accept these feelings, accept these emotions, accept the fall. And all of that happens through the act of reflection. And I urge you all to do so. Exactly how I took my mom's tip of counting to 10 and turned it into a core principle of my life of reflection, I urge you all to do the same. But I have an idea. How about we all take that step together today? I'd like you all to count to 10 with me, but there's a catch. Let's inhale at zero and count at 10. Okay, so let's inhale. Zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, exhale. Thank you.